Well, this didn't take long. We knew it was going to happen sooner or later. Somebody was going to be driving under the influence of marijuana under the state's new laws, and it was going to be a problem. And there was going to be a problem figuring out what to do about it. It happened in Plymouth on Wednesday. A 20-year-old man rear-ended a school bus full of kids. Fortunately, none of the kids were hurt. The man admitted that he was stoned, said he had just smoked a blunt, an entire blunt by himself before the accident occurred. He reeked of marijuana. The car reeked of marijuana. As a matter of fact, the police car that drove him to the police station where he was booked reeked of marijuana after he got out of the car. Um, Police couldn't charge him at the scene. There's no test available at this point to determine whether somebody has an appropriate level of THC in their bloodstream to charge them with operating under the influence of marijuana. The tests at the police station were inconclusive and take time to come back, so they weren't able to charge him. He was charged with reckless driving and driving uh, with a suspended license or registration, one of the two. Um, And he will be back in court next month to face these charges. But this raises a very serious issue. The Police Chiefs Association of Massachusetts calling on state lawmakers to come up with a solution to this. And they say perhaps we should have delayed implementation of the new law until all of these bugs were worked out. Once again, fortunately, no kids were hurt. But we have a test case, as we thought we might. We'll be talking about this, of course, as the weeks and months unfold right here on 1420 WBSM.